today I want to introduce you to my friend Dandelion. Isn't she beautiful? So Dandelion is a beautiful yellow flower that blooms this time of year. And when she blooms out here in the wild of nature, we call her a flower. And when she blooms in a yard, we often call her a weed. Okay, granted, some lawns get a little taken over by our sunny friends. So, weed or flower, I find dandelions to be such wonderfully happy little flowers. They are very useful to you. You can use their blooms to make a special dye. And you can use their roots to make a tea. But today we're going to collect some of these wonderful dandelions. And we're going to bring them home and make some dandelion art. You ready to join me? Find some dandelions, put them in a little bag, and bring them home to your house. And then we'll make some dandelion art. Oh, isn't that the happiest little bloom? I have brought home some of our beautiful dandelions. And I'm going to arrange them. This is some of my... Um, rice paper too, but any of your white paper will work well. This one's a little more absorbent and it's an experiment. I have not done this yet. So I'm gonna arrange some of my dandelions here. These I picked earlier, see how they've already welted, wilted? Okay, I have all of my dandelions arranged. I'm gonna cover it here with another piece of paper. I have my stones here from when we did our sumi painting putting them here on the edges, just like so. Now this is fun. So underneath this, I have some felt. So if you have a towel, you're gonna want to use a towel and we're gonna hammer. Now hammering gets really loud. So what my goal is I'm gonna hammer on all of these beautiful plants that are in between my two sheets of paper and we're gonna see what happens. I have a rubber mallet. Um, that's important because a metal hammer gets loud really fast and you might need to do it outside. If you have a wooden mallet in the kitchen, that'll work. If you only have um, a metal hammer, you can use that too. Um, you can also, let's see, what else could you use? I suppose you could use rock, um, something hard to hammer it with. Okay, that was fun, but I'm thinking we should try something else. So I have some liquid acrylic right here, and I'm gonna use some of these to make some more marks on my paper. And I'm gonna use my yellows, and I'm gonna use my green. You could use liquid watercolor, you could use food coloring, you could use whatever paints you have. Water them down a little bit if you want. And now we're gonna go back in fast motion, and we're gonna do a dandelion on this plate, and we're gonna keep working on this just for the fun of it. We'll just keep playing. Okay, so now we have our drawing that we've created. So just like any time we're making art in the studio, we're experimenting. Anytime you're making art, you're discovering new things. So I used the hammered um, dandelions that we had hammered on there as a guideline. And from that, I added some markers and some paint to create this piece of art that looks kind of dandelion-ish. And there's our little dandelion mask we can make. I have a straw here. So I'm just going to use some packing tape. That's what I have. Use what you have at home. And I'm going to attach my straw. Make sure I get it on the right side. I'm gonna attach it right here to the back like this. Now I have a mask that I can hold up 
to wear like this. And I have my artwork. Okay, I want to show you another thing you can do with dandelions. You want to find one with a long stem like this beautiful one does. Look at that beautiful sunny face. Now this won't damage the plant for us to choose to pick it. And now I'm gonna show you what we can do with it to make a dandelion crown. Okay, here's our dandelion. We are going to make a circle. So I always press the stem down a little bit so that it doesn't break. This helps to just make it a little more pliable. And then you turn it to make a circle and you press the stem back through the circle. And now do you see how you have a nice loop? Now I can take one more of my long dandelion stems and push it right through that circle, make it tight. And look, I've started to thread a little chain of dandelions. Here I am with my fairy crown. It's a dandelion crown, but when I was a little girl, I would make them for myself and pretend I was the fairy queen and dance around the forest. Maybe you'd like to do the same, or you can grab your mask that we made, or you can put some of your fairy, beautiful dandelion art around you and enjoy it. And you can ask the question yourself, what makes something a flower or a weed? Is it really a weed or a flower, or does that just depend on where it is? It's worth asking. I'll see you soon. Yay!